Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I want to share today Luke the 8th chapter. Amen. And starting at verse uh, 11. Luke 8 and 11 says, Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts. Least they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy and these have no root which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away. And they which fell among thorns are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on good ground are they which in the honest and good heart Having heard the word, keep it and bring it forth fruit with patience. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We want to be, my God, the good ground that, hallelujah, allow roots, amen, to be rooted. It says, but that on good grounds are they which in honest and good heart, having heard the word, amen, keep it. Having heard the word, amen, keep the word. To know if you, hallelujah, have roots, amen, and if it's good ground, is that when you hear the word, when the word of God come forth, if you're able to absorb it, amen, and live by it, amen, when trials come, when temptations come, when the cares of this life come your way, are you able to stand, amen, on the word of God? So many hear the word of God, amen, and they get caught up in the hype, and they get caught up in the emotions, glory be to God, and they're encouraged, and they feel like they can just continue to run this race, but then when they're faced with the cares of this earth, with the cares of this life, with trials, tribulation, persecution, then they forget what the words say. Then they forget, hallelujah, my God, that God is a present help in a time of need. Then they forget that weeping endure for a night, but joy come in the morning, hallelujah. But those, hallelujah, thank you, God, that says, I'm going to take the word of God. I'm going to let the word of God take root inside of me. And when it take root inside of you, no matter what you face, no matter what the devil throw your way, he cannot persuade you. He cannot cause you to be tempted. Hallelujah. My God, my God, because you would deny temptation. Hallelujah. You will be able to tell the devil no deal. Hallelujah. God said, hallelujah. Thank you, God. To not, hallelujah, my God, yield to sin. He says, hallelujah, for yielding to sin, glory be to God, hallelujah, is the wages of death. But the gift of God has given you and I eternal life. Abide in the root. Let the roots, hallelujah, absorb the nutrient. Let the roots continue to take you, amen, from day to day. Let the roots begin to continue to take you, hallelujah, on this journey. The only way you're going to make this journey is that you have to be rooted and grounded in God. You have to be rooted and grounded, hallelujah, in the word of God. You know, I remember a long, long time ago, there was um, when they used to have this guy called Flip Wilson. We were talking about this the other day. And in the skit, he will always say, the devil made me do it. Glory be to God. The devil, hallelujah, can only make you do it when you are not rooted and grounded. When you have not allowed the word of God to take root inside of you. Amen. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word dwelt among us even as the only begotten of the Father, which was Jesus Christ. So when you have God on the inside, when you have Jesus on the inside, hallelujah, you just can't sin, hallelujah. You can't just say, you know what, I'm going to lay it down for this moment pleasure. I'm just going to lay it down, hallelujah, for this moment thrill, for this moment joy, hallelujah. If you find yourself being persuaded by sin, you do not have root, hallelujah. You have not been planted and rooted, my God, in the Lord Jesus Christ, in his holiness in the gospel, hallelujah, in your salvation. God said today is the time, amen, to get rooted that no matter what comes your way, trials, temptation, hallelujah, glory be to God, no matter what comes your way, you will stand on the word of God. You will obey God, hallelujah. You will show God, hallelujah, my God, that he is your Lord, amen, and you will put nothing, 
not even yourself above him. The Bible says, glory be to God, we are the light of the earth. We are the salt and we have to continue to let our light shine. He says, who will take a candle and put it up on a, a bushel? Who will hide their light? My God, my God, those that don't have root. Those that don't have root, hallelujah, my God. But he says, those that receive it, amen, with a glad heart, hallelujah. I'm so glad that I've been, hallelujah, revealed, amen, by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus revealed who we are. The blood of Jesus show us where we are, my God. And I'm asking God to continue to reveal me to me, hallelujah. So I know where I need to allow the roots, hallelujah, to hallelujah, to grow in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ, because all that God has given me, I want to keep it. I want to maintain, hallelujah. I want to maintain everything that God's given me. And I'm looking for higher heights and deeper depths in Christ Jesus. I don't want to be deceived. I don't want to live all these life, all these years, amen, and miss it. I don't want to miss Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord, keep me rooted. Keep me grounded. In you, oh God, no matter what I face, no matter what I go through from day to day, God, let me maintain, hallelujah, my roots in you. Continue to be blessed. Continue to strive to go forward. Don't let nothing smother, hallelujah, out the word of God, out of your life. Stand fast on in the liberty whereby Christ has set you free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. Glory be to God. Sin is bondage. Amen. Sin is bondage. And sin wants to put a yoke upon you. But we refuse to be yoked up by the bondage of sin. He that the Son set free is free indeed. I love you. And heaven forever smile upon you is my prayer. Thank you, God.